Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dream Machine Chapter 5. In the last episode we didn't get too much, but we managed to um, discover that the wall that surrounds this place is actually uh, the same wall of ice that is in uh, Mr. Willard's dream. And on the other side, in fact, of that wall is Mr. Willard's dream. And uh, we have to figure out some way to um, get from here to there. But we need the witch's help for that. And we're currently trying to uh, figure out how we can get her to help us. And uh, one thing that she said to us was that we need to show her some um, something magical about us. Uh, we need to do like a magic trick or something for her to help us. Um, but yeah, that's something I'm gonna try to figure out in this episode. So first thing, I'm just gonna look around a bit and try to figure out what to do. Oh, wait, pick up lid. It's the lid for the barrel. But it just might be a decent wheel for my- Oh my god, that was an accident! I was just standing here! Oh god. Uh, I hope they don't mind if I borrow it. Great! Alright. Um, now I only need one more wheel. Maybe that's something we should do first. Um, hmm. Well, let me just look around for a bit more. That was a- <laughs> that was very lucky. I would have not uh, realized that that was a lid. I've been walking past that place for many times and I didn't realize. Uh, but yeah, let's try to find another wheel then. Hmm. That door looks kind of like a wheel, doesn't it? There's a small hole in the base of the trunk. It's carved by a small round door. I see you're admiring my front door. It's an old wagon wheel that I reinforced. Pretty nifty, eh? A wheel, eh? That sounds useful. Can I borrow it? And leave my treasure exposed to burglars? I think not. It'll be only for a few hours. Without a door, my treasure is defenseless. You'll be here to guard it, surely. I can't fight off thieves in this condition. I need all the reinforcement I can get. Hmm. Could these boards do? With the door? Could you put these boards there? Did some boards? No thanks. They look kind of worm ridden. Oh. Um. Could you do with the whistle then? Can I trade you this warning whistle for your door? You can call them up if someone tries to steal your treasure. It's only temporary, of course. Oh well. I guess that's a fair trade. At least my treasure won't be completely defenseless anymore. Great! Here you go! Thanks. Yay! I'll just unhinge it carefully. Thank you! This is great! Ooh, can I see into your hole? There's a small hole at the base of the trunk. It seems to continue below the ground. I'm too big to fit through. Hmm, okay. Too big, you say? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe we'll get to use the gun in this world after all. I think that's where this is heading. Um, because I'm pretty sure the magic is like with the gun, but I don't know, whatever. Um, let's go up here then. And I think the woman was right here. Yeah, there she is. All right, uh, I got some wheels for you. <laughs> what about this? That's not half bad. If you can find another wheel, I'd be much obliged. I'll see what I can do. Well. I already saw what I could do, and I got you to sleep. What about this? That looks pretty good. Now I only need some kind of base to attach it all to. Hmm. Boards? What about these? That's not half bad. I could build a base out of those. I can make my cart now. Finally I'll be able to get through- get out of here. Please accept this bow as a token of my gratitude. Yay, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> um, okay. Examine bow. It's a simple bow made from a single piece of wood. Hmm. I don't know actually what we can do. do would, wouldn't we need arrows, perhaps? Um, I, think, I think we would need arrows. But what do we shoot with the bow? 
Do we even shoot it? Oh, the woman is gone now. Hmm. Um, well... Let's see if they have some new dialogue here. Okay, she's here. There he is! The man of the hour. Thank you for helping our scout get back to the fold. It would have been tragedy to lose her. She has the finest eye the side of the wall. Eh, think nothing of it. Was there anything else? Um, do I have any new findings? No, nope, I don't have any new findings. Okay. Hmm. There was the lake, but I don't know. I don't know exactly would there be anything useful at the lake. Like now. I can open this with this. <laughs> Poking with the bow won't do anything useful. Yeah, I need to get into this house. This tweak won't open get able to get the door open, okay. Bandage won't help here, yeah. Oh well. Uh, how do I get in there? Let's see if we can do something new here. Hmm. There's these lily pads. This lily pad I can move around. Which I don't really exactly understand why. Mm. The bow is too short to reach. The shovel is too short to reach. Oh! I can move the sh with the shovel, I can move that lily pad. Um. What about this? Shovel is too short to reach. Um. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I supposed? Am I supposed to have like a path? I, no. <laughs> am I supposed to make a path to her? I don't think I can walk on the lily pads though. Hmm. Mm, and I cannot uh, reach those. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting. I don't know if it's uh, something I should do currently. Do I have a, you have anything? No, you have no new, new news for me. Hmm. What about that lily pad? Yeah, I cannot reach that. I need something longer, but at the same time, I don't like know what I'm meant to do here. Maybe get to that water lily to get a leaf or something. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's probably I'm probably gonna become small and then go on the lily pads there. I think that's it probably. So that's not something we need to do at the moment, but I'll try to remember that. Okay, let me try to look around a bit more. Oh! It's better than nothing, I guess. Oh, I, I connected those. Again, I'm doing things by random. Um, examine. It's a simple bow made from a single piece of wood. With a twig tied to it. So that's our arrow, then? But, um, what are we gonna shoot with it? Um, I'm really quite not sure. Um, I don't think this is gonna help us get to the other side of the wall. Um, but I'm gonna go see if Victor has like any anything like to say, because <laughs> this string or yarn is probably not. Um, you know, strong enough for us to swing to the other side or anything like that. I don't think that would work out. But let me go see quickly. Does Victor have anything like useful to say to us once we go here? Um. Oh, you actually did shoot it there. The twig seems to be stuck on the other side of the wall. I'll secure the yarn on this end. There. This should hold it, hopefully. And. Can I walk on it? The arm seems secured on both sides. But I won't support my weight. I need to go... Okay. I need to go... Um, 
The Mr. Willard's dream then. Oh, this is working out perfectly. Why am I doing so good? <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah, this actually, yeah. I think this chapter is coming to an end, probably. It's been, it's been going on for quite a bit. I didn't know it was quite long, but um, it's been, it's, when you get used to such short chapters, this feels so long. But yeah, um, now I'm gonna go to Mr. Willard's stream. Just hold on a second. And here we are, back in the real world. I guess Mr. Theed's tentacle can wait. Well, for a while. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get this off our heads and go to Mr. Willard's place. Dip, 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 dip. Hello, is anyone home? Well, probably. <laughs> Still on the floor. Oh god, his neck is gonna be in such pain. Uh, yeah, let's put this on you. I am the receiver, and you are the sender. Let's go. Yes, back at this place again. And do we... Yeah, we get all our um, stuff back. Uh, let's become small then. Well, not here. Dang it. I did it. Okay, well, I guess I, I always forget. I forget that... Uh, you have to do this thing, this um, small section walking when you're small in this room. But we did pretty fast. Examine twig. It's the twig I shot from Selma's dream. Yes, it is. Now I think, could we walk this? Cross void. <laughs> this is gonna take forever game are you gonna cut this out game I think you should cut this out because this is gonna take forever <gasps> several minutes oh I thought I, I thought a chapter ended okay all right see I was I was wondering like are you gonna make me watch this whole way no way okay there we go we're almost there come on Victor you can do it and there you are and we got these two things with us. Let's enter here. I wonder what happens then to our uh, old stuff. We don't get that back. We need to always like enter from the beginning. Hmm. Nothing happened. Yeah, I tried to use it on you. There you go. All right. Well, let's get to the witch's hut then. Oh, we're black and white? This is weird. <laughs> oh, no, we aren't. Oh, I thought we were gonna be black and white. <laughs> Hello, witch. I have some news for you. I've acquired skills of magic. Or future. <laughs> Are you ready to show me some magical precision? Maybe. What do I have to show? Something strange and wondrous. It doesn't have to be big and brazen. A small display will do just fine. Oh, that was a clue. <laughs> Alright. Is there anything else there? Well, yeah, I'm gonna show you. Um, stay on the path. Look at this. Pew. That's it, child. Seems you know the magic after all. Pretty impressive stuff, I might add. What type of ingredients did you use for that potion? Rosemary and rose petals? Stuffed animal fur? Hold on, I'll show you. I used this gun. That's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Pretty sweet, eh? I don't know how you got the hold of such a thing, but I suggest you be careful with it. Fear and doubt emanates from it. So will you teach me the potion you mentioned earlier? Of course, dear. But making it will be tricky. I'm out of ingredients. Figures? All of the ingredients can be found here in the forest. Here, let me give you the recipe. Come back once you've found them and I'll instruct you how to make the brew. Thanks. Okay. Uh, what are the ingredients? We might have a few. We have an egg at least. Um, acorn? Could be with the squirrel. Uh, burnt limestone. Okay, water lily stamina. Okay, that's uh, by the lake then. Dirt from a fresh grave. 
and that's the skeleton guy, a dove egg, and this one is the one with the nest there. Okay. Only one, um, this one is a bit confusing to me, but it has like, well, it has the, all the elements, but I assume like, maybe we find a fireplace or something. We can maybe find this there. Uh, but all the other ones seem quite easy. All right. Um, there was a fireplace uh, back at the hut, uh, not the hut, but uh, Selma's house, I think. Um, but uh, which place was closest? I think the lake was closest, so let's go there first. Um, oh wait, the dove egg, of course. Can we get another dove egg? Because I really don't want to go back to my old form to get the dove egg. Can I steal another one? Yay, I got a dove egg. Maybe we won't need any other things that we had on our old self. I mean, the shovel was quite useful, but yeah. Um, Alright, this way. And the lake was here. Oh, the fireplace actually might be also here. Right. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but we can't exactly get in here. Ooh, can there be... There's a hole! Oh my god. It looks like a road that has gnawed a hole through the wall. I'm, get I'm getting so excited. I love puzzle games so much. <laughs> I think we can go in there then. Unless the rat's gonna eat us. Maybe not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yay, we're in a house. Um, Let's make ourselves big. So the rat won't eat us. Oh! Oh my god, there's a guy! So you finally come for me. Sorry? I'm surprised you managed to get past my barricade. But in a way I'm relieved. Well, what are you waiting for? Do it. Do what? Cut me open like all the others. Take what you came for. And leave me alone. I intend to sleep through this era. And not and the one after. You've got it all wrong. I'm not the organ thief. Then what are you doing here? Another gloater here to mock and jest? Leave me to be molested in peace. <laughs> My name is Victor Neff. I'm not here to mock you. I can't, I've come to stop the organ thief. Oh dear. Just what the world needs. Another hero. Who are you? My name is Jerome. At least it used to be. I don't know what people call me these days. Probably something unflattering. What are you doing here? I'm hiding here until the trouble dies down. My kind always get persecuted when people start losing their limbs. Your kind? I'm a vampire, Victor. Don't be alarmed. I'm too weak to move during hibernation. I couldn't hurt you even if I wanted to. In fact, you're safer in here with me. Out there, either the thief will get you, or the lynch mobs will. But I've erected a barricade to keep people out. You are welcome to share this hut with me. I understand if you don't want to, though. Most people consider my presence to be unsettling. Uh, what's it like being a vampire? Immortality, immortality is not what you might think. After a while, you feel as if you've seen everything before. People start merging into an indistinguishable lump of petty needs and petty problems. That sounds awful. That's why I hibernate through most of it. When will you come out of hibernation? When times are better, in a century or two. Every once in a while an era comes along where I feel at home. A moment in time where truly new ideas are welcome. That's when I leave my hiding place and start living again. Those moments are very rare though. What's wrong with this era? This age is for small-minded, dead-eyed thinkers. For clock watchers and bean counters. Insect minds and with insect agendas. What makes you think we're safe in here? I've barricaded the entrance so no one can get in. And nobody knows I'm here, so they won't come here looking. What about me? You have an honest face, Victor. I'm sure you won't tell anyone. I managed to get through the barricade. You cheated. I saw you use some kind of magical artifact. I doubt there's many of those around. If that's what it takes to get in, I figure we're pretty safe. I've noticed a weakness in your barricade. Really? 
There's a hole in the roof of this place. I saw that earlier, but I didn't think it's big enough for a person to get through. It looked big enough for me. You're just trying to make me feel insecure. I'll believe I'm safe here until you prove otherwise. I'm trying to stop the organ thief. How are you going to do that? I don't know yet. If I only if I only knew where he'd strike next, then maybe I could ambush him or something. That sounds like a good way to get maimed. Okay, I need to go. Don't tell anyone I'm here. Well, don't worry. Let's just look around. Cause I'm in kiln. It's an old kiln. What? What is that? <laughs> an ashen powder covers the bottom. If I'm not mistaken, this is burnt limestone. Great. Just what I need. All right. Um, do you have anything else useful? Examine sausages. Um, some moldy old sausages have been left on the floor. Ugh. Cup. Somebody left a cup here. It's got huge cracks in from in it for years of use. Okay. Um, examine barricade. A pile of furniture forms forms a makeshift barricade. It's a lot stronger than it looks. I can't even budge this chair. I would imagine not. The words took me three days to create. Okay. Hmm. Um. I guess that's all then. Hmm. Okay. Maybe this is where we ambush the organ thief. If it's gonna try to come through the roof or something. Hmm. Okay. Uh, now let's go to the lake then and try to solve this thing with the with the lily pads. Um, can I use the staff? Oh yeah, those that works fine. Um, so we need to recreate like a path or something. Isn't that a fine path? I think that's a fine path. Let's make ourselves small. Oh, maybe that one needs to be moved there. Oh, that probably needs to be moved um, a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I think that's it. Ugh. Get the gun. There we go. I can't reach it. But can't you walk on this? Oh, there you go. Oh, that needs to be moved too. Hmm. Well, let me go back quickly. And make myself big. And let's move that one. I think that's fine. I think I may be able to just click it. And no. Yeah, there we go. Yay, we made a path. I'm a frog, kind of. <laughs> I can reach the stamen if I separate the petals a bit. Yay! We got the thing. There. Yay! Okay. And then we need an acorn. Let's go to the squirrel then. Alright, there's the squirrel. And um, maybe in your house? <laughs> I don't know. How did you become so small? That's amazing. I've never seen magic like that before. Can I go into your hole? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Don't make me blow the whistle. I need an acorn for a potion. Just one? You sure? I only need one. Well, I suppose I can spare one acorn. I mean, it's only taken me all year to collect them. I'll probably be alright with what I got. If the winter isn't too harsh this year. Great. Did I get an acorn? Oh, it's a new area. Um, okay. Um. Oh god, it goes deeper. <laughs> Ooh, it's creepy. Creepy hole. There we go. There's a bunch of acorns here. The acorn is too big to pick up and too heavy to roll uphill. How am I supposed to get it out of here? Oh. Why? But aren't they like super light, even if you're this small? Hmm. Can I shoot it with the gun? <laughs> ah, yeah. 
I can only use it on myself. Ooh, what if I make myself big though? It's gonna destroy this place. Well, let's do it. The tree will crush me if I enlarge myself here. Oh, yeah. That's right. Um, I need like a long hand. Could I get one with the staff? From outside? That's really impressive trick you got there. You should take that on the road. <laughs> You'll make millions. I'll be your manager. What do you say? I'll think about it. Um, I can shove it into the hole, but I won't be able to do much since I can't see what I'm doing. Plush, I'd go batshit crazy if you did. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I'll try to figure out this uh, in the next episode, because we are, we are running out of time here. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we hopefully finish um, this potion and figure out how to get this acorn out of this nest. So thank you for watching and goodbye.